Saturday, October 10, 2015. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. It's late in the day, it's actually past 5 o'clock, but uh, I was busy earlier in the day with other stuff. I was uh, long overdue for an oil change on the Daily Driver Subaru and on my wife's Daily Driver Volvo. And let me show you one other thing. The uh, Vanagon here, I just gave it a long overdue wash. Unfortunately, I just don't have time to wax it. But uh, I am going to be attending a VW bus show tomorrow. That's the annual Volkswagen Transporter Fest here in Massachusetts. So even though I didn't get a chance to wax it, it is all washed up and cleaned inside, so it's good to go. Back to the 240D. Now, uh, as I said, I'm just about to get started now. Probably won't get too much done today. Uh, and I'm going to try to do some work on the car when I get back from the show tomorrow, but who knows how much I will actually get done. But it has been a productive week. Now, uh, you know, part of the problem with these weekly installments is that uh, offhand, I don't really so much remember exactly where I left off last week. Although I think last weekend I had cleaned out the intake manifold and I had the exhaust manifold also off the engine. So uh, this week I reinstalled the manifolds with a new gasket. Uh, got the air cleaner in place. Got this uh, tube and the inlet here. Interestingly enough, uh, I know at least the tube was missing. I think this piece was also missing when I bought the car, so it's the first time this car has these pieces. I also finished up the belt drive and cooling system. Uh, I've got a new water pump on here now. You can see my repainted pulley. Uh, fan is back on. New thermostat in. Thermostat housing resealed. Thermostat housing short hose changed. Um, I have new belts on the engine now. And also, I finally located my missing glow plug reamer. So anyhow, new glow plugs and the uh, carbon is reamed out of the holes. Today I'm going to start by installing the radiator and the upper and lower radiator hoses. And once that's done, I'm going to start mounting up the exhaust system. So, I'm going to get to work and I will update you with what I've done at the end of the day. So aside from a final flush and fill, the cooling system is done. So uh, I actually did one more thing. Not sure if I can show you, but let's think of the light down here. You see there that label that is the new exhaust downpipe, which is loosely fitted in place at this point. Uh, there is a support bar which uh, bolts onto the transmission and that's what's holding it in right at the moment. So, assuming I can get out here tomorrow, my plan uh, after I'm back from the car show is to continue with exhaust work. Uh, and there's really only two more pieces, the uh, center muffler and the rear muffler. So hopefully I can get that all bolted up tomorrow and Maybe get the cooling system flushed and filled, and, and there's, um, in terms of uh, mechanical work, the only thing then left is a few fuel hoses and, once again, just for safety, a new fuel primer pump. But, you know, we'll see what, if anything, I can get done tomorrow, but, you know, this car is yeah, step by step getting closer to being back on the road. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.